You can create reports that show exactly the information you want to see organized in the way you want to see it. When creating a custom report, think of a table. Dimensions are the rows of the table, and metrics are the columns in the table. This report has two dimensions, in green, and four metrics, in blue. So the report will show page views, bounces, visits, and revenue for each source and keyword. Click on the Custom Reporting menu to get started. If you have no reports defined, your Custom Reporting Overview will look like this. You'll see a Help article link and links to sample reports. Click Create New Custom Report to build a new report. To name your report, just click on the title field, enter a report name, and click Apply. Make your name simple and easy to identify so that you'll be able to quickly find it in a list. You can also provide a name for the Report tab. This is particularly useful if you add multiple tabs to your report. The next step is to select the metrics and dimensions you want. Use the search box to find metrics and dimensions. You can also click a menu item to expand it and browse all of the available metrics or dimensions. To add a metric or dimension to the report, simply drag and drop it into the table. Here is a report with four metrics. Now, let's add dimensions. You can add up to five dimensions for each custom report, one top-level dimension, and up to four sub-dimensions. The sub-dimensions allow a user to drill down to more detailed data. Some combinations of metrics and dimensions aren't allowed. If you see a metric or dimension grayed out, it's because the combination isn't available. Review the chart available in the Google Analytics Help Center for an overview of permitted combinations. Once you have finished adding your metrics and dimensions, you can preview the report. Your preview will appear in a new window. Click Create Report to Finish. You'll see the new report listed under the Custom Reporting menu. Now that the report has been saved, you can access it any time. In this custom report, we can click any of the sources to see the keywords for that source. Let's click Google. Now we can compare search keyword performance for the Google search engine. Click on the Custom Reporting menu link to access the Custom Reporting Overview page shown in the slide. Here you can see a list of saved custom reports and you can edit or delete any of them. Click Edit to modify the report. By editing a report, you can add, remove, or modify metrics and dimensions, add tabs, and change the name of the report. Creating a new tab allows you to drag a different set of metrics onto the report. To experiment with this, click Add Tab. Here, we've created a new tab called Visitors.